Yo, what's good, Griffin with 3 here back in the day, and today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to complete this week's Forcedon Challenge, Secret Agent. Now, some of you guys who aren't in the know might be asking, why do I need a special video just to complete this Forcedon Challenge? It seems pretty straightforward, and it is. It is fairly straightforward. The only problem is, though, is that it is a lot of work. Secret Agent says, feel like a secret agent and get behind the wheel of the Bentley 4.5 liter and drive 100 miles. I'm going to repeat that, 100 miles. This is the most amount of distance that we've ever been required to drive in any Forza game so far. Any Forza Horizon game, that is. This is absolutely bonkers. It is an insane amount of driving. And Forza's even recognized this. They put on Twitter today that, hey, we're sorry about how grindy this challenge is. So instead, we're going to give everybody 100 Forza on points to say we're sorry. Instead of fixing it and dropping it down to like 20 miles... Hey, here you go. Here, I have some force thumb points. Don't even worry about that challenge. Well, some of us are a little OCD and have to complete this challenge. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it as easy as possible. The other bad part about this challenge is how expensive this car is. It is 4 million credits. There's no way to get it for free. It's not an accolade reward. It's not anything like that. And in the auction house, well, it's pretty hard to find there as well. Because who was buying these? I mean... They're very rare to get in wheel spins, and those who got them decided to keep them. So, they're, they're, everyone has to buy one now, basically. And it's 4 million credits. It ate up more than half of my total money. More than half. And that really, really sucks. So, I'm, I'm going to be damn sure that I'm doing this damn challenge. So, how do we do it? First off, get your Bentley blower. Alright? Easy enough. Then what you need to do is you need to download my tune for it. So, we're going to be using an A-class racing tune that I made and this does work it works very very nicely you can use this for your races you can use this for your speed zones it's a, it's a great freaking do all right here is the share code for it that is 709-140-318 again that's 709-140-318 pause your screen if you have to and once you have this tune on here we'll go ahead and head over to my blueprint event which will be able to do this with the AFK method. Now, there is another option that you have, and that is to use this tune, which is the Force Von Max tune. It is S2, it has 1500 horsepower and a top speed of 204 miles an hour. Now, unfortunately, due to patches, you cannot use this car for the AFK method because eventually the Drivatar just starts full sending it on each direction and you lose control. I tried it without traction control, ended up in a ditch after I made through the second checkpoint. Tried it with traction control, didn't even make it through the first checkpoint. Uh, it just overshot it completely, and every time it just reset me right in front of it. So that kind of sucks, but if you plan on doing this race actually legitimately, this would be the car that I would use because you can reach 200 miles an hour in it, easy peasy, you'll get the challenge done in about 40 minutes. If you use the A-Class tune, instead of going 180 or 200 miles an hour, you only go about 140, but we can do the AFK method, which I will show you guys how to do that if you don't know how to do that already. You can set it up for Goliath if you want to, but I've got my own race, which makes it a little bit quicker and a little bit cleaner. So that is going to be this one here, which is Super Loop. Here's your share code for you. It's 681 814 and I repeat, that's 681-814-657. You can basically hop on this. It's five laps. You go up and down the interstate, and easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I've tested it with the A-Class car. It works out perfect. So it does take about nine minutes a lap. So after five laps, you're going to be going for about 45 minutes. But this one, you can do the AFK method, which let me explain. For those of you guys who aren't don't know what this is, you've probably been under a rock. There was a big, massive glitch that people were using. They'd do 50 laps of Goliath, and they would set their car up so that they could basically go to bed and get 50 laps done in a night, not even having to touch the controller. All right? This car will allow you to do that. They did add a patch, though, that now if you're going over a certain speed, then your Drivatar just starts flinging his steering wheel every which way, and tries to purposely crash you so unfortunately you can't do it now with high with fast cars slower cars on the other hand you can still do it so here we go 
you got this challenge just hop on in here and you're good to go now how do you have it automatically drive for you well easy you just need to follow these settings right here the main ones that you need to pay attention to are assisted braking auto steering and automatic transmission you can turn traction control and stability control on or off I like it off because it adds a few extra uh, points right there and even with this one you can actually set it up to average and it'll work so you can get an extra 10% if you like or you can have it on new racer and you'll just be in first place the whole time so it's really up to you we're gonna go with average save it and then we hop into our race and you guys will see what I mean by auto driving so all I'm doing right now is just holding down the trigger on the controller. So I'm only holding down the gas, and the car will drive and steer itself. You can tape this down, go eat dinner, do something like that. And by the time you come back, 45 minutes to an hour later, you're, you're going to have your 100 miles done and out of the way. Now I will say, this race is actually only 18 and a half miles long. So you're still going to have another 7 and a half miles of driving to do after that. But because it's on the freeway, this is going to be one of the quickest ways that you can do this. This is going to be one of the quickest ways. You're going to have a lot of corners with Goliath. You could do Goliath as well. There's a lot of like 50 lap races. You could set that up and just get going. But as you can see, like my drive guitar is already flailing just a little bit. And we're only at 100 miles an hour. But once we get up here to our cruising speed, which is about 140... You'll notice he doesn't really flail too much once we get on the highway, so that's pretty good. With the other car, I mean, it was just either so unstable or it got patched, and basically he would just be turning the steering wheel each and every single way as hard as he fucking could, and would just crash into the barriers. Now, the main problem as well, though, with the auto steering one, is if you get stuck behind a car like this. So now my top speed is limited to 122 miles an hour from the start. So if you set it to new racer, you'll probably be in the front already at the beginning. So, and unfortunately, you can't really get past them because if I try and steer out of the way, uh, my car is going to want to automatically correct and get right behind them again. So, like, if I let off the gas really quickly and I hit the gas again, he just gets right behind him. We easily catch up to him, but we're stuck at his speed, which is 122. So you may want to set it to new racer because then you'll at least be in the start. So there we go. We actually were able to get past him. Not too bad. But as you saw, my car reacted pretty, pretty aggressively there. But yeah, this is basically how you do it. So anyway, that's where we're going to wrap things up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash curve 13 and instagram.com forward slash curve 13 If you guys like this video, go ahead and make sure to hit that like button down below for us. Because you already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe when it's coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye.